Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. May I take this time to welcome you to this place that we call the Mental House. With me, your illustrious host, the Minister of Soul, Khadija. Now what I want to do, y'all, is I want to talk about something in light. In light of Sade Robinson, um, I want y'all to get a real clear perspective about what's going on in Milwaukee. Uh, and I'm not saying that Milwaukee is unlike any other uh, ghetto, black community. But what I will say is we seem to have an extraordinary amount of disappearances and just heinous crimes committed against young girls here in Milwaukee. And when it comes to getting involved, uh, trying to create task force and people to look into this and acknowledge it, again, some people let race get into the way and just distort their line of view and their just way of thinking and they don't think it's worth us setting up a committee or setting up any kind of thing that will remotely suggest that there is any truth to black girls disappearing and let me give you an example you know Wisconsin Watch is a nonpartisan um, entity, about as non uh, bipartisan as they can be. But let me let me just share this article with you, okay? Last month, assembly lawmakers approved a bipartisan bill to create a task force on missing and murdered African-American women and girls in Milwaukee. Despite, through and throughout the state, I should say, and despite strong bipartisan assembly support, it's unlikely that the proposal will get a vote during the Senate's final floor session this month. The bill has not yet received a Senate committee hearing and Senator Dewey Strobel of Salkville, who chairs the committee, it's a racist little community, by the way. My cousin lived there in Salkville. Bless you, Pam. She's now an ancestor. Overseeing the legislation, told Wisconsin Watch that he wouldn't schedule a hearing on this proposal. He don't think it's worth it. Now, the bill... The legislation would require Democratic Attorney General Josh Call to establish the committee within 45 days of the proposal becoming law. The task force would consist of 17 members, including lawmakers, law enforcement officials, and county coroner and representatives from advocacy groups. The committee will be required to make policy and recommendations to improve the safety of African American women and girls in this state by December 2024. The task force is similar to the State Departments of Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women Task Force, which Call created in the 20 in 2020. In 2022, there were almost 98,000 cases of black women and girls reported missing, according to the data from the National Crime Information Center. There were 153,000 cases of white women and girls being reported missing that same year. That comes as black women make up just 12.5 of, of American women according to the U.S. Census Bureau estimates, 
white women represent 60% of American women. At the same time, there is a growing there is growing wariness among Republican lawmakers and conservative activists about government programs designed to help one particular racial group. You know, that's why we have to get reparations from these crazy people. Because you know, they actually think they're doing us some favor, a favor by treating us correctly. I mean, that's the sick part. I mean, and I, I guess somebody got to say it. They are actually thinking they're doing us a favor by actually treating us with equality and treating us with fair. You got 10 women, let's say, and nine of them are being murdered every time I turn around. And we wouldn't. A sane and rational person think that, well, this group needs special attention. Look at it like for all you sports enthusiasts. You know, when you look at the NBA, the worst team usually gets the first round draft pick, right? Because you want to bring them up and have them equally yoke with the rest of the teams. So y'all understand the concept because you will do it for some sports uh, apparatus but when it come to human beings and black girls you think oh no we can't do that we can't uh, 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 separate them and do that but you separated us when you made us uh, your servants but you separated us through Jim Crow civil rights reconstruct we were different and you singled us out with, si with specific politics everything that has been done the black people were done with, with very precise and specific I mean precision but yet and still when it comes to trying to correct this y'all got pushback oh no 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 we can't we can't just sing aloud and see and that's why I'm sick of your butts that's why I'm sick of these legislation that don't really mean anything for all people just white people and that's what has to be replaced in this system and it has to be replaced with a system of justice violence is an issue that impacts every woman and girl of all racial backgrounds she said on the assembly floor this is Sheila Stubbs of Madison she's the bill's author it's harming and it's killing our black women and girls at the highest rate. Her comments were echoed by Representative Michael Shra of Kenosha, I mean of Oscosh, another lead sponsor on the bill. While speaking on the floor, he expressed disgust with the legislative process, knowing that one person or one senator or one lobbyist can kill or gut a bill that we worked our tail off on there's no reason that this should this should be killed in the other chamber he said expressing further frustration that it happened without GOP even providing a reason these victims deserve to walk in the Capitol and have their stories told Stubbs told Wisconsin watch uh, in an interview she also questioned why the bill was referred to on the Senate Committee on Government Operations rather than the City Committee, the Senate Committee on Judiciary and Public Safety, where other legislation related to human trafficking has been referred. See the games they play with us, y'all. See the games. Ain't you tired of the games? Black and white. Ain't you tired of the games? Strobel said that the premise on which the bill has uh, brought forward omits critical context regarding crime victimization. He noted that of the 204 girls, 204 girls missing in Wisconsin listed on the National Missing and Identified Persons System, the majority of them are men. I believe that every person who is missing or murdered deserves equal justice under the law, Strobel said in the statement. No, you don't. 
I have a difficult time legislating in a way that allows government to prioritize justice based on victims' race or gender. However, well-intended authors of the proposal may be their efforts. I simply do not support advancing legislation to create a state government task force focused on only one facet of a much broader societal pro problem. That's his reason. Strobel also noted that Attorney General has the authority to establish a task force without the legislature, as he did with the missing and murdered indigenous women of the task force. State of play. A spokesperson for the Senate Majority Leader, Devin Limahu of Oostburg, said the Senate can't take up the legislation until the bill has had a public hearing and committee vote. The Senate is expected to meet for the final time this session later this month. You know, um, by the way, this story, I got this from the Wisconsin Watch, um, and it was written by Jack Kelly. I just find it really disgusting. I mean, in light. So I can't blame. There's people in the legislation. Black and white. This is a nonpartisan bill. I mean, they approved it. And they wanted to create a task force on missing and murdered African American women and girls. But this guy here says, hell, he ain't got time for that. He blocked it. He don't got time for that kind of craziness. In his opinion. I want to know what y'all think about that. Um, I'm going to also do a video later showing just how many missing or murdered black women there has been. Especially in the city of Milwaukee. It's pathetic. And it happens throughout the state. But nobody gives a damn. But I do. I care. And unless you've spent time with a family who's had somebody murdered. Or have somebody murdered in your own family. And it's still open. There's no closure in your heart. There's no closure. And as we can see, nobody cares about us. That's why it behooves us. We got to care about ourselves, people. We have to. Because Michael Jackson said it. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Tell me what you think. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Be blessed, family.